Well, this year's flu season is putting a big strain on Virginia's hospitals. They're having a hard time keeping up with patients. And in Richmond, VCU Medical Center stepped in to help medics figure out which hospital patients should go to. The strain of flu this year is, is really incapacitating a lot of people. So they're unable to, they're, they're drained and they're dehydrated. In rural Nottaway County, a hospital had to call for a code red because it became overwhelmed with patients. Well, we reached out to Centera as well, and they pointed us to the statistics from the Virginia Department of Health. Now, that showed the flu at widespread levels. So it's several questions out there about the flu. We set out to verify what is fact and what's fiction. First, does the flu shot make symptoms less severe? The Verified team reached out to Dr. Joshua Parker for this one. It usually takes about five to seven days to build up the immunity that the vaccine um, is creating. So if you get the flu during that time period, your symptoms will, will can be lessened than had you not gotten the vaccine at all. But after that time frame, Dr. Parker says you should not get infected. If that happens, you may have picked up a strain of the flu not covered by the vaccine. Next, can you be immune to the flu? A small study was done on that specific question, and we can verify that that is in fact false. Every single patient shows some reaction. Now that might, that reaction might be as, as small as they had an increase in the amount of white blood cells that are responsible for fighting that virus. As for stopping the spread, do masks help stop germs? Well, Dr. Parker verifies, yes, they can, especially when you combine them with antibacterial products like hand sanitizer and soap. Wearing a mask and keeping your hands clean can reduce it, the, the rate of transmission by as much as 75%. It's, a, it's very, very effective because the flu is, is spread um, by respiratory droplets. Okay, so once again, we did email Centera to figure out how many people do you have going into your emergency departments with the flu. They did not give us a number. Instead, they turned us to the information that is listed on the state's website. We will post that on 13newsnow.com. So do you have something that you would like for us to verify for you? You can always let us know. Email verify at 13newsnow.com or reach out on Facebook and Twitter.